Grocery giant Sobeys went shopping and filled its corporate cart with more than 200 Safeway stores. The deal, worth about almost $6 billion, could change the grocery business in B.C. But as Tim Weeks reports, many are questioning who might benefit from it. As far as business deals go, this one is a mega pack. More than 200 Canada Safeway stores will be taken over by Sobeys, making it the second largest grocery chain in Canada, just behind Loblaws. That's going to be a big change. Be sorry to see Safeway go, but if the prices are a little bit lower, that's a good thing. Retail analysts say the deal will help give Sobeys the market muscle for a food fight with Walmart and Target as those chains expand into Canada. But we shouldn't expect to see prices start falling until Sobeys develops its retail plan, which could take a year or so. I would imagine that at that point they're going to start to see sharper pricing and they'll see maybe a, a revitalization of Safeway that you know, many of us think is a little bit stale. The prospect of upgraded Safeway stores with more bargains doesn't worry the corner grocery stores yet. Independent grocery store owners told us they're able to compete against the chains by focusing on a niche market. As a result, they say they're less concerned about the prices at the Safeway stores than they are about the products they'll carry. BC has the highest percentage of independent grocers in the country. The Echo Yak is one of them. The market has been here on Main Street for 18 years, offering a range of specialty products and Middle Eastern foods. Adam Asgari says he gets repeat customers looking for products and advice they won't find in the chain stores. For us, the people, number one, their health, their concern, and over everywhere. But if you go like in the bigger store, you just want to buy and go. No one cares about you. Sobe says consumers will benefit from its takeover of Safeway, but it's too early to say if there will be store closures or layoffs or if the Safeway name will change. The whole deal needs regulatory approval before it can proceed. Tim Week, CBC News, Vancouver.